This Wednesday afternoon has been mostly sunny. We've had a little bit of filtered sunshine at times that helped make it feel a little bit cooler at times, but overall our afternoon high temperatures did make it into the middle 90s, and we're still in the 90s here in Dothan with a lot of sunshine downtown. 94 degrees with a southwest wind at 10 miles per hour. That's going to be with us going into the overnight, but slowing down a little bit, but either way, the humidity levels will be increasing over the next couple of days, so the heat index temperatures can become more of a concern and that tells us how quickly your body is able to cool off. And the higher that heat index temperature is, the harder it is for you to cool off, which is why the heat becomes more dangerous. Lower to middle 90s for most locations, upper 80s for Defuniac Springs right now, simply because they have a little bit of extra cloud cover down in the Florida Panhandle. But the dew point temperatures that measure moisture, that's on the same scale as temperatures, now it's creeping up ever so slowly. So our heat index temperatures that are in the lower to middle 90s, upper 90s for a few spots this afternoon will certainly be a bit warmer going into the weekend and even for next week, despite the actual air temperatures being a little bit cooler for us this evening. We do keep a mainly clear sky around. Temperatures still in the 80s through 10 o'clock. Overnight lows will be in the upper 60s for some of the lucky locations and lower 70s for most of us, especially a little bit further to the south. Now, as far as that temperature forecast, lower to middle 90s the next several days, a little bit warmer for Sunday and into Monday, but then going on, this, that's when those temperatures will start to cool off a little bit, but either way, those heat index temperatures are going to be a major concern for us in the upper 90s for most locations to the triple digits as we go into the start of next week as the humidity levels increase and as far as those rain chances, staying pretty minimal as we go through the next seven days. Strong storms across the mid-Atlantic into New England, even the Appalachian states seeing some of that now and also again in the midsection of the country. This boundary is going to be very slow to move across the country, but eventually this will Will get to us and initiate the chance for a few showers for us on Friday afternoon, but slow to get here because of this blocking area of high pressure that's been settled in over us for the better part of the last week and a half, which has been keeping our skies mainly clear. Dry conditions with that and temperatures really heating up into the upper 90s, actually the triple digits. That's where we officially were for Sunday afternoon. Now, as far as our conditions for tonight, mainly clear for us early on. And then it's after midnight when a little bit of patchy fog will begin to develop, especially a little bit further to the south. Interstate 10 and southward, we do have the better chance of some dense fog, but then that could creep up into most of the wiregrass, but then quickly mixing out of the atmosphere as we go into the mid-morning hours to early afternoon. We'll have a mostly sunny sky. One or two sprinkles, certainly not out of the question where we have a little bit more in the way of cloud cover, but the slightly higher rain chance will be with us on Friday as this boundary gets a little bit closer to us, approaching us on Thursday, but then Friday morning that will be on top of us. A mix of sun and clouds, a few showers will be possible as we go through the afternoon hours. Scattered storms at the most for us, and where those storms do develop, those temperatures will cool off a bit. 69 degrees for that low temperature for tonight, and then for tomorrow, we will be warming up into the lower to middle 90s for most locations. Heat index temperatures in the upper 90s for Thursday afternoon, a 20% chance for showers on Friday. We might increase that depending on how much moisture gets collected along that front. It's really going to be dependent on where that boundary sets up and also where the sea breeze front sets up. So some of us could get a little bit more rain, some of us likely staying dry.